Now your problem is a male, isn't that true? You cannot live with it, you cannot live without it. Is that true? I will not like you to be offended today, but I have to tell you the truth. And please don't take it personally, I don't mean to. Because unfortunately, you see me in the body of a male. So what I was going to say, you may feel that it is not true, or maybe I'm defending males. That is possibility. But you have to understand, that's not the purpose of this class. When a child is born, in spite of all the innocence of the child, at third year of the child, male child, you lose the grip. Isn't true or not? Just work it out. Why you lose in three years a child which you brought out of you, who was one year in you, nine months, then you raise it one year, two year, third year. At third year he starts saying no to you. May I know? Can anybody explain to me? Yes? Huh? No, no, no. There's no ego. Ego is not in this game. Normally third year to fifth year, female child will start offending you at eleventh year, but a male child will offend you at the third year. Do you know the reason? Hmm? What's that? No, it's not harmful. You can just joke it as you want it because you do not want to face your reality, your pain and your shallowness. You can make a mockery of it. You are the one who create criminals. You are the one who destroy the world. Creative power is yours, not anybody's. Don't, don't take it as a joke. Don't misunderstand. Failing is not a wrong thing, but not admitting it is a very wrong thing. Why on third year the child doesn't, male child doesn't listen to you? And why at eleventh year the female child doesn't obey you? Can you answer my question? Anybody? In environments, it doesn't make sense. Is there anybody, any woman in this whole class who can just analytically understand why? Who is a total understood phenomena? Hmm? No, 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 it's nothing to do with brain. Mm -hmm. No. It's very painful for children to disobey parents. Extremely painful. But they do. I don't know what this English means, indulge after reading all Sri Guru Granth, you can talk like this, indulge. You mean what mean, indulge? Aren't you ashamed of yourself to say that word, indulge? Eleven years old woman will start telling the mother what to do or slipping the things or doing things which you don't like. Three-year-old boy will start telling you, go to hell. I am asking a simple question, why? 
No, 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 no. Have you, no, can you answer my one question? When you were a child and when you had to do all that, how painful it was for you? How guilty you felt, how, how nerve-wracking it is, you know? You can't deny that, and I'm aware of it. Who cares, shortcoming and all comings? Parents are parents, that's, they are very fine things. Parents are very fine things. Parents are still very fine things. I have seen people, 80 year old mother, so fine. Mm -hmm. Moment she came, all the seven year I heard her, my mother is insane, my mother is insane, my mother is insane. And moment the mother showed up, my God, you can't believe a red carpet. Better it was silken red carpet. I, I see it, I, I see the behavior. Don't tell me that, just tell me the fundamental answer. Hmm? Test? No, no. <coughs> hmm? No. As a mother, you always try to tell what to do. And a woman, because of double brain and balance, can little tolerate you little more than a male, male can't. Your first tragedy is that you tell children what to do. And all of you, N block, from A to Z, are guilty of it. You are never changed, you will never change. That's why the world is absolutely horrified. You have no right to tell the child what to do child has the right to know what is good and what is bad. If you start good and bad with a child, child will never leave you. There's no better student. You have never accepted a child, God-given student. You always accept child as your possession. And that's your mistake. Put that tape on, Gurudev Mata. Listen to this. Have you got the copies of these? I told everybody should have it. You have those copies? Have you? Okay, read the English. What, what's your faculty is that? You are the first teacher. It is not open to discussion. It is a matter of suffering. A woman has the right to suffer or deny suffering. Deny suffering. First, after this song, you can ask your question and I'll answer. Keep your question alive. <coughs> Put it on. And I want you, as you sing, I want you to read the English translation of it. First line you read, what it said? Gurudev Mata, that's first line. First opening is what? Guru, Guru means who bring from darkness to light. Dev means transparent. 
Transparent is just a definition of God. Everywhere, but not seen, not known, is the power of the unknown. O Mata, O. Ma means moon, ta means sun. Oh, the, my combination of my moon and sun, you are my transparent enlightener. Gurudev Mata. And a mother who does not play this role should never have a child. The entire conflict in this universe is from role of the mother. It is a very painful role, but it's an unfortunate role. Mother is not a person, mother is a Gurudev. Ad Gure Name, Yugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru Dev Name. This is what they call for a Guru Ram Das. Gurudev, the same Gurudev, Gurudev Mata. There is no difference. Let's not have no understanding. You are the root cause of the Maya. Manu was not incorrect. Don't misunderstand that such a Rishi who gave law to the universe was, was forced to say, last line against you. And this Shabbat says, Guru Dev Mata, O Mother, you are the Guru Dev. And that is from the day of breath, first breath to last day, that's the relationship you have to have with your child. Now look into you, you are mothers, look into you, how many you act that way. How many you have acted that way? Are you not supposed to be responsible and be punished for bringing children to this earth and not discharging your responsibility? That's why I apologized to start with, that I want you to take it personal. Today's lecture, you should not take it absolutely personal. Aren't you criminal? You bring it. I'm asking. I'm just checking. Aren't you as a woman the most criminal creature, member ever born? You bring a life and your own son after three years tell you what to do. Nay. First word comes out, no. And after seven years, your daughter start telling you no. It's a fundamental truth. And then you buy, you bribe, you give gifts. You are the biggest corrupt institution on this earth. Most corrupt, most cruel. And the first line opening of this is Gurudev Mata. You are my true Guru and pure, transparent, like angelic. You are my angelic Guru. O Mother, O the combination of Ma and Ta. You're not going to like today, right? You can take it. But if you can't take it, then take pain for the rest of your life. What I'm talking today is for generations to remember. If you are a wife, go ahead saying why and if it's your problem with your husband. You don't acknowledge, but with your own child, we are asking a fundamental question. How come it happens on the psychologist, psychiatrist, analytical, sociologist, all trying to create music? 
Look, Guru has given one word. One word, and he, that's a decisive. Guru Dev Mata. Oh, my mother, you are my transparent guide, God. You are my beauty, you are my bounty, you are my everything. Gurudev Mata. And a mother who is not Gurudev Mata is going to lose a child, a man, a life, a trip on this earth. That 16 times more intuition, that 16 times more intelligence, you jokers, is not given to you to be sensual and sexual and sail and become models and remodels and become socialites and become this. You were given that 16 times by God to give earth, God itself. Because you are also a Janani. Nothing can be without your psyche. You are not cruel, you are rude. That little thing, you shake it, it's heavens, it's innocence. Yes, no, do this, do this, say this, don't say this. Who are you? Is that not a soul? It has no sovereignty of its own, no independence, no see the beauty of it. It is very shocking here in 25 years which I have experienced. School and children and grades, three things you know. Take those grades and eat them. Eat them. Eat those grades. Eat. Take those grades and rhyme. I am failure as a teacher, as a mother, because you are the first teacher. You never understood that you are the only most perfect source of God to create divinity. Through divinity you could create identity. Not from identity you can create divinity. And divinity is a taboo to you. Showing your boobs, wearing your skirts, sex sale. What do you, what do you think you are? And what your children don't know about you? You think a child is a freak? Child has sensory system. 108 element sensory system in a child. Try to see a child and figure it out and understand. You never give child this place. You never get child this discipline. You never get child this value. You never did a thing. And then you blame your children that they have gone nutty. They have gone drug addicts. They are not in a position to make their life. You know 80% of your children today in America are absolutely useless. They are just a labor. Thanks to your motherhood. How many of you sat down with a one-year-old child in the lap and meditated, and through the power of your meditation, put a person, a child to sleep? Surya, you are the most unwanted woman in this class. No, 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 I must say you are the most unwanted person right now. I'm teaching a lecture and you are sitting here that a poor innocent child, you are playing that child and disturbing the whole class. You know? 
You take this child, go out. Time out. And that's what you deserve. Child is not wrong, you are. Where, where did you sat down and took the child? Yeah, Tr now see, try to love him. Can't you do it? See, what I am telling, I am experimenting here. Watch this. This child knows you. In his psyche, he wants to be important. He wants to sit here and lecture you rather than me. No, it's true. He didn't want to be played with. Force didn't work with him. Did force work? You say children don't know? Who has told you children don't know? Children know so much. There's 108 elements and their mega power is 30 trillion per unit. Take 30 trillion, you are 10 trillion cells. Three living cells mean 30 trillion. You are 30 trillion cells and the child psyche is 108 elements multiplied by magnetic power of that. A child has a power of a complete sun. And as sun rays can spread to the universe, so is that of the child vibration in psyche can study the whole situation better than you. Go ladies, wear mini skirts. That child came from what is in the mini skirt. He knows his pathway. He knows when you are dressed up. He knows your feeling. He knows your sensory system. What do you do? Give it to a babysitter? When I ask people that a child shall stay with the mother for 40 days, majority of the people decided we will even leave this system. We can't. There was a fashion. I was shocked once. A child was born, 20 cameras were there to welcome. A reception team was organized. There was no peace, tranquility, honor and grace to enter this earth. You vagabonds, egomaniac, insane moms and papas. It is on record, in fact. Then we enforced it for 120 days. You will try to protect the identity of the child for 40 days. You will totally, completely identify yourself with the child. We said that 120 days when the soul enters, you will walk with your husband five, seven miles and do charn japa on the left satnam, on the right vaiguru, and you will go around miles and miles so to give the vibrations to the child and give the identity its totality at that time. We are not cruel. We are asking you, your power as a mother is purity. Your purity is with husband, your purity is with a man, when you are talk like an ego, you are not pure, you are individual. Usurping the right of individual. You want, you want what you want. Does he want? That's what I said to you, your trouble is man. You cannot live without it, you cannot live with it. And what you are producing? You are producing all these children, half parents. I was asking a man that day, he said, Yogi Ji, this is a 
Independence Day weekend. I wish I wanted to see you in Espinola. I said, why don't you come? He said, this is the only days I take my children and I've decided to be with them. I said, when you were married, would you try to use the same tactics to be with them? He said, that's the unfortunate thing. That's why I'm divorced. Have you seen this father standing Friday night outside to collect a child? And his child comes with the other male. And his wife is sleeping with the other male. Who caused it? President Clinton? Is the law by United States Congress? The root cause of life is the mother. And the quality and the quantity is also the mother. There's no other but mother. There is no other but the mother. You have never disciplined a child. Only you are worried to just give it party training so that you know he will not mess up. Oh, a party training is physical. What about mental? What about spiritual? Kiddos, you blind woman. Don't you see party training is all three ways? Is physical, it is mental, and it's spiritual. No, you only did it once. And when the child got party trained, you were celebrating it. Oh, thank God. Now I can take him, he can just do it, and then I can clean him out. That's easy. Mental party training, you didn't do it. Now that you, you don't have a depth to change for it. Spiritual party training, you never cared. Even today you don't care. On 4th July 1996, you do not care to train your children in spiritual party training. And you call yourself parents? No. You got some toys, natural, for which you didn't pay. You just pay daily basis on wages basis and exercise your ego. Sit up, down. I love my child. This is a beautiful mother. I love my child. She is the most rotten mother I have met in my whole life who wants to ruin and ruin and ruin by giving false security. Once a child gets false security for the mother, that child will never be real again. Time and space and the world at large will not give that kind of leeway. There shall be challenges. <clears throat> and those evaluations which you didn't get as a child today and now you are dealing with a man called husband if you understand your purity and piety you can still win the war still winning is not difficult Winning is not impossible. I win life as you win life. We breathe every day and we win every day. And we win every day, working hard, the rest at night. And we wake up next morning, winning again another day. Every child needs that. And that is the habit. When a woman has that habit, she has all the children as saints and husband as a very saint. You have four faculties to be free. You can serve a saint, you can marry a saint, you can be a saint, and you can give birth to a saint.
man has only one, he has to become saint. Maybe he serves a saint and crown of spirituality is bestowed. You don't, you don't understand it. Mini skirts and powder and lipstick and rouge and hairdos and blows low and low neck and boobs up and all that BS you are doing, beautiful service to yourself, BS. Let me explain in technology, will not get you anywhere. One day you live with your own rotten children and broken home and a divorce. Your strength is not your sales strength. Your strength is your elevated spirit. It is not total woman. It is the face of the woman. When the face of the woman is so dynamic, so saintly, so pure, so nice, it's a reflection. Man has no power even to speak. You must have some woman understand where men absolutely do not say a word. We call them hen packed husband. Have you heard that phenomenon? Huh? In India they call them the servants of BBGs. It is their tarma, tarmna naukar bibida. They are just servants of these ladies. Nobody knows what are those ladies. But these men are, yes sir. There's, there's a strength. And that strength is very strong. And that's the real strength of the woman. Today and tomorrow and every day, life will be nothing but full of sorrow if you will not rise above your attachment to yourself and do not understand you are born to be Gurudev. And that's why Guru said, Gurudev Mata. You don't have to learn anything. I'm not asking you to read books. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm not asking you to do a thing. Just understand one word. I am going to be Gurudev. And I am that what I am. And see how life changes. Put the tape on and sing with it, please.
translate it. What? This is your faculty. You are reading like a song. In this song you are defined. Your faculty is defined. Your facets are defined. That's why you are a woman. You are Guru Dev. Don't give birth to a child if you cannot give him the value. And these are the values. This is all about you. It's not about God. There's no God if you are not there. Even one is an avatar, one is this, this, he has to come through a mother. And mother, if it's not a Gurudev, then a devil is born. And the whole world will be in pain and destruction, including you. This is a genetic mistake you are doing, ladies. And man is your trouble. And man will continue to be your trouble. Man will be your trouble as a son, as a man. Conquering that son and man is not your trouble, it's your victory. And you have been defined. Otherwise, there's no need to have children. Remain single. And if you think the child doesn't understand you as a mother, you're the most arrogantly ignorant person. Child has such a psychic power to understand. Child is such a person that within the range of 250 miles, child can bring milk to the mother if he's hungry. Automatic. And now in this telephone, when we have wireless telephones, we know we speak here, it goes all the way up and goes anywhere in no time. Electromagnetic cover, which in olden time was known as the psychomagnetic field, which shall be the age of Aquarius. You will never find wires. Absolutely, absolutely will be deleted. There shall be no wires. Communication will be totally individually. And nobody's going to use battery. Human electromagnetic field will be enough battery. And a person will be in a position to charge, put the toe on the earth for one minute. Whole thing will be absolutely taken care of. Your faculty as Gurudev and all the song you are singing and reading totally describes you. The first thing religion this, the greatest treachery religion did, the greatest betrayer religion did, religion put God outside than you. God is in you. It is the middleman who wanted to take money, live off you, take your precious money and blood which you can spend on your children and your family. That is called a holy man. Holy man is who has nine holes and who watches with the tenth gate, tenth hole, what comes in and what goes out and keeps the purity. That's all it is. There's no need to be very flattered about, I am holier than thou. Yes, we have a habit to control. Control means you carry the load. But don't you ever think you will not suffer. You shall suffer. A law of karma is action as a reaction, equal and opposite. What you should sow, so shall you reap. Aap bhi japa hi kha, nana khukmi aave ja. Karmi apu apni, ke nere ke dur. Hor doesn't make score. You are born to be divine. You are the first excellence of God. Even God has to take birth. God can only take birth through you. 
And in this Shabbat, be clear and have an understanding. You are being described step by step, stage by stage, your faculties. Then you go for counseling, psychology counseling, social counseling, psychiatric problem, you have mental problem. <clears throat> Who has told you that? You give birth to the avatar, you give birth to the psychologist, you give birth to the doctor, you, give, you, you do everything. Is there anything without you? Man wants you, man leaves you, man loves you, man hates you, man divorces you. God knows. Which faculty of life of a male is where you are not dominantly predominant? May I know? Read your other qualities. Play, 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 play. Today is the liberation day. Agyan Bhanjan Sing, sing with it, read it. Agyan Bhanjan You remove the darkness as friend. Saka. Yeah, God, you clear out all faculties and obstacles. Master God Lord Guru is not talking to the people on Mars and Moon He's talking to you What mother we worship, there is not a one human being born so long today which can walk on the back of the Bengal tiger. No, it's impossible. In psychosomatic is impossible. Even the trainers have failed it. They can do a lot of things. They can tell Bengal tiger to sit on the table, the bench and all that, but only one trainer trainer Joseph tried it. Bengal shred it into pieces. That's known. And that Bhagavati, Ashtabhuja, walks 
hound that Bengal tiger's back, like as you ride in horse. She has eight hands. That's the faculties, yours faculty. That's how a woman lives and walks. You have one little husband. He is going this way. You are going that way. He has drinking habit. He doesn't live home. He doesn't understand. Because you have no magnetic power. You are not a Gurudev to him. You are just a woman. Because you have never learned to be Gurudev to your husband, therefore you have never learned to be Gurudev to your child or children, as the case may be. Therefore it is naturally observed, psychologically true, a male child at the age of three start telling you no, and a female child after seven start telling you no. It's also true that you ch ch tell a child, sit, and they say no. Don't you understand there's something wrong? People move stones. You can't move a living human. It's not a big miracle. It is just a simple clarity of mind and concentration of mind. Mind over matter. Little mind of the child, the mother, the most Gurudev mother. If she says sit down, everything sit down. The universe sit down. Angels sit down. What a little tiny husband you're talking about. Who's he? Have you ever understood your power? Have you understood your faculty of power? Have you understood this is a period of ultimate liberty for you? It is your sovereignty. Have you understood that when you flirt, you lose mental alertness and you lose everything with it? You think these are jokes. These are not jokes. They are making you jerks. Yo-yos don't do anything. And then you start blaming, my mother was this, my father was this, because of this, because psychologists also, $120, $80, $60, our basis, come make you talk. Can you talk to yourself? Have you ever understood? You are the gateway of the prana. Without, have you seen men getting pregnant? You can give a child physical party training. You can give a child mental party training. You can give a child spiritual party training. That child will remain clean forever. And through that cleanliness, from big cleanliness, and generations will be clean. It is you and the power of your womb which can produce God. Revelan Lipstick, don't make your lips red. They cover your paleness. Ruse does not make you beautiful. Makeup only shows. I mean, men are blind. Thank God they are that way. Men are idiot and blind, I'm telling you. Had men a sense of sense, moment they see a woman in makeup, 
She is making up. She is not real. He said, thank you very much. Then get to another side. What are we going to get out of that? There's a billboard. I am a woman in makeup. It means she has never made it. She doesn't know herself. There's no glow, there's no power, there's no light. There's no spirit coming through. It's makeup. Then how long you can make it up? One day you fall before your own ditch. And then they know what name they call you. You remember? I'm not saying it. No, no. I'm, I'm the last man to say. My idea is to make this woman anywhere the ego. It's my mission. I took it upon myself. Nobody gave me a direction. When I came to the United States, they say, call woman chick. I said, that will be the last thing I want to hear. It's better than the other word. Hmm? You know what I'm talking about. You all know it. Why to get that thing? Why not to understand? You are not for sale, Gail. <laughs> you hear me? You did not hear. You don't respond to you. You don't, you don't have a spirit to respond. You are not for sale, girl. Makeup will not make up for you. Make up yourself to be transparent, divine. Teacher. And let your generation be born to rule the world in peace and tranquility, in prosperity, in beauty, in bounty. Enjoy bliss, human bliss. Give yourself a face and a grace of divinity. Let identity come from your divinity. Let divinity not come from your identity. Reverse the cycle. Lady, you will have no problem. The wealth will come at your feet. Is a reality of life. <clears throat> Don't limit yourself. You are unlimited. You come from infinite. Aap guaye, tansho paye, aur kya chutrai? When you lost yourself into the identity of yourself being the divine teacher, and you lose your insecurity and when this false self is lost then you find the infinity what is there to be clever about when you put a foot when you put a foot on earth God says thank you you are a walking identity of God's creativity you cannot deny that. And why to create that insanity? Who invited you to do that? Don't feel guilty. Just get awakened. Just wake up. Start exerting your divinity. 
It's your birthright. Learn the rule. God who created you shall create for you everything when you exert your divinity. God who created you will give you nothing when you exert your duality. Sing now. Nibbling and nagging a man, you're not going to have peace, happiness in your home, doesn't matter who you are. Your time is to conquer the man by compassion, by care. Those words are very helpful, huh? By kindness, compassion and care. 
a man which is your man which you don't like or you like forget the judgment by compassion kindness and care you can bring out of that same man the devil will die angel will come out you don't have to get a divorce you don't have a suffering you will never be wrong and once you understand that male you have you can turn into be angel your children will be angelic because you are already as practiced don't marry for sex marry for the sixth sense the agya chakra the ajna opens up ladies and you have 16 time more power than a man what you do hello ha huh? this is wrong that is wrong this didn't happen that didn't happen yeah 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 young 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 ho 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 you mean that idiot doesn't understand what you're talking young hey 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 then he calls you what he calls you then you suffer huh what is this going on you are very educated <laughs> What's going wrong with you? What character you have taken? How you start doing tuk 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 tuk, and if he calls you chick, then what's wrong with it? Where are you coming from? This is the fun with all the ecstasy of the karma. गुरु कृपा दे भक्त कमाई ताए मानस देही पाए इस दही को सिमरे देव विद ऑल द एक्सटेसी ऑफ योर कर्मा यू फाउंड दिस मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल बॉडी व्हिच एंजल वर्शिप टू गेट इट एंड यू लूज इट बाय यंग 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 एंड बाय बाय निबलिंग एंड नैगिंग ओ फॉरगेट लेडीज दैट्स नॉट योर रिलीजन यू विल गो टू हेल अलाइव योरसेल्फ विद बॉडी इटसेल्फ यू हैव नथिंग टू लूज what your degrees means what your makeup means what everything of your means when in 2 seconds to you open your mouth and there comes the not anything but the lava burns everything you should be source of reconciliation man comes tired Totally. He's an idiot. I'm not saying it. I'm not praising him to begin with. He has already worked eight hours. He has lied enough. He has his ego. I understand that. What a man can do is the right side hemisphere only. He's not going to dwell left until he does yoga for long years to become a yogi. He has no faculty. He comes home and then what he hears from you? Eh, eh. Eh, I call you a office. Where were you? Then he tells you in a language which he knows. Then you have tears. If you would have a conscious clear, you would have never have to shed tears. Look at this male, this beautiful male, wonderful male. Two hours he drive bumper to bumper, listen to rock music to keep him awake, takes coffee on the way so that he may not have accident. Eight hours he suffer, he lies. He has an officer, he has subordinate, he has a beautiful secretary who she wants him, the other person wants him, his friends wants him, his social life wants him. He keeps aloof. Come back home. What do you do to him? Hey. and what are you going to get out of that man he sits in car with you going to a party do you remember if this didn't happen that didn't happen oh i wanted to talk to you thank god he doesn't open the door and jump out of it <laughs> huh if man doesn't have patience which he has because he knows He is enough sensitive because that's why God gave him initial initiative hemisphere. 
a boy, man should immediately at your nagging open the door and out he goes, like a football. Then you have a dead man. Instead of 50%, damn it, you can get 100%. And how many men you can kill in a month? 30? Huh? Is that you are a woman for? That's what you give birth? That's what you carry him for nine months and some days? Why men drink? Why they go out? Why they don't want to listen to you? You come all the way here to listen to me. I'm your teacher. If you are teacher, your own man won't listen to you. Is that what you're telling me? You came all the way, you paid your airfare, you paid here for the camp, you are here listening to me. Because you feel the sensitivity and you have the reverence and understanding, you have love that you can learn because I'm your teacher. Is that true? And look at that, when you are teacher at home, what's going to go wrong? He'll come all the way, wherever he is, to just to see, to meet the teacher. To listen to the teacher. Nobody's come all the way to meet the husband. Forget it. Her husband meets the wife. Wife is a Y and F put together. This is not a relationship. You can take it, you can take it. That's why I said in the beginning, today is a day of liberation. It's the Independence Day of America. Oh, women either become independent or remain slave. And if you are not sold physically in markets, you are sold mentally. You are sold and you pay heavy cost of your ego. And that's not you are as a woman. You got to grow. This is a great country. In 200 years, we have totally ruined it. Flat and clear. Nothing is left of us. We are socially corrupt. We have prostituted our life. We have no life to go to with all the fac faculty and facility. What we are doing? We have become a living makeup. Reality is gone. You can't hear, but you tolerate your children abusing you. You tolerate your husband abusing you because you don't pay attention. You have nothing left in your mind. There's no mind left. It's only an ego. And what ego does? Makes you to exert. Makes you to flirt. In the end, it kills you in the pit. And that's what it is. Look at you. You are educated, you are intelligent, you are beautiful. You have everything. You don't want to be acknowledged, you want to be recognized, you want to be loved. And one man, one man, one man, one facet, one man, you cannot conquer. How you will call, conquer God multifaceted? There's a picture on my, that thing, Siri Singh Saab, born this and this. I intentionally designed to put that three murti, three faces of God, front, left, and right. You forget you have left and right. Front is identity. Left is, front is, left is, Dignity. Front is? Identity. Left is? Dignity. And right is? 
without dignity and divinity identity is that of a prostitute make no mistake nobody will tell you this because everybody wants to exploit you on every billboard you are even they want to sell underwear you are supposed to sell it they want to sell a radio you have to sell it or you you have become a sale organization because all they want to use is your sensuality they have no identity of your respect and grace it means they have totally forgotten you were ever a mother don't you see what is happening today they have totally forgotten you were a mother look at a newspaper was going on doesn't it tell you something it must tell you something it must tell you where media is at and you must tell media where you are at what has become call girls sale girls it has to stop it has to stop this is now our country we are born here and we are not for sale we are grace of god every woman is a grace of god we have to change the entire trend you remember we started a movement GGMWA Grace of God Movement of Women of America we strongly protested all exploitation of women the entire media and press entire united state came after me you remember that are we still surviving they couldn't do a thing we have been winning and we should continue winning winning somebody did not tell you that you are gurudev there's no other if you would have remember that matter would have been totally long gone solved and decisive we have body we have mind and we have a spirit and we have a right of independence sovereignty and freedom and that is 4th of july that's what we are sovereignly understanding it this sovereignty in a human life is very priceless don't put price on it please it always start from one drop the rain the flood comes it always start for one of you why i said that telegram telephone and telesic it reaches <laughs> it reaches everywhere what did i say telegram telephone and telesic spread the word folks we are true divine gurus 
just remember mentally, make it a mantra. In 40 days, your entire environment will change. Then you start believing me. Mind has a power over matter. Understood? Let's complete it. Go. You know, if you play the lottery and you get your lottery, how happy you feel? Say hundred million dollars or so, you feel lucky? Yeah? 
You are very serious. What is wrong? I'm yelling and screaming so you can wake up. Not that I mean it. I love you. That's why I pick out the subject. Sixty-seven years ago, there was a woman who got also a winning lottery. And she conceived me. Do you understand that? You don't. You don't remember it. You don't? I do. Sixty-seven years ago, a woman conceived a lottery. It is priceless. It has no price on it. I remember her when she used to read the Banis, she used to read the Gita and the Mahatam, and she used to explain it to me. I also saw her making food for me and chanting the mantras. I'm not a product of a miracle. I'm a product of that mother. You forget it, I don't. And the story of her life is she left her body in India calculating time with me. When my father called and he said that she's on his last breath, I say exact 3.30 my time and that will be your time whatever. She shall leave within first five minutes the breath of life and she stood by it. She is the only one woman in the record of 525 years of Sikh Dharma, where all five Jathadar came to honor her. Coincident call it, accident you call it. And she went with grace. Tomorrow is our day of exit, where she dropped the body and left me behind. So tomorrow Langar will be in our honor. I'm very selfish tonight. You may not understand it. If her blessing can make me what I am today, if you partake, share with that in those vibrations, you may also feel prosperity, honor, and grace. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah? Because you are one way or another. Are your mothers are aunties, are you related to, are you going to be mothers, or I don't know what you want to be. But once upon a time, there was a woman who became a mother. Let's tell the story. Once upon a time, there was a woman who became a mother. And out of her gunas, happened to be born a child unto her with her blessing, grace, and best wishes, and with her very iron handed discipline, which I will never forget. Iron handed, because you many of you have met her, so I'm not going to lie tonight. Iron handed discipline came a man who understood the grace of woman. And her blood turned into milk. And that turned, blood turned as blood in me, that milk. And I have a genetic spiritual obligation to bow in reverence the character, the facet, and the characteristic she gave me. She gave me the mother of all mothers, the Ashtapuja.
She gave me the most beautiful woman as my mother, Mata Sahib Deva. She gave me the whole universe in the palm of my hand. She gave me power to be most powerful on the 108 elements of this universe. She gave me the length, longitude and latitude, altitude and attitude to be what I wanted to be is all her prayer, her blessing and her grace. Though she left in body, but that was just physical. Her radiant body and spirit is always with me and always shall. And that's the day I'll ask you to participate with me. And it's tomorrow. The langar will be tomorrow. And normally, when the world will be ruled by the nation, sovereign and spiritual as you, in 5,000 years she shall be the mother. And it will coincidentally this country called United States will sing a national song, Antana Sifti Ken, and instead what we sing. And it's a fantastic reason which I always get. Then she'll find a right place as a mother. And you have a chance to. Normally in India as a custom, the married woman always hates the mother-in-law. It's very geographically customary. But she was such a bulldozer, nothing could stand before her. because she was a woman real in her own grace and she did her best. In all the riches and poverty, she stood by her grace and she taught well. So she had a lottery, isn't it? And you don't want your lottery? Try it now. There's a chance. Give me the spiritual teachers for tomorrow that they can also with that grace remember you the way I remember. Let's forget about worldly relationships. Let's understand the essence of purity, piety and power of a mother, Gurudev Mata. Yes, every year is a day of reminder that she is not physically here. Every moment of life is a day of reminder she is very much here. Was, is, and ever shall be. In 527 years, not a one woman has passed away. Where five heads of the five religious places of the Sikhs come and put karmi yave kapada nadri mokhtya, put tushalas on her. They joint prayer on her and let her go. I think she earned it. And I believe she earned it. And I think you can earn it too. Don't misunderstand. History always is rewritten and rechanged. He's never the man and never the material. He's always the mother, which facilitates the faculty of the divinity 
an identity of the grace in a man. Remember that. May Oh, that living power, oh, that divine power, oh, the essence of the essential of all ecstasy, by virtue of thee, the universe exists. Oh, the reflection of all divinity, identity, and grace. Oh, mother in faculty and facets, out of thee and every drop of thee creates the creation into creative sense. So the Almighty in self is recognized, remember, and the purpose of the universe is served. O the one who leads the spirit unto a living being, restore it to its place and guides it and protect it forever. O oh, you the kindness of all kindness, against which no wrath and terror of the evil can reach out. To the limited resources of the man and to the world, unto thee we bow and ask thy protection. May you bless all and every womb, and every soul born of every womb, to make it unto peace. So man can live in beauty, bounty, and bliss, in a purposeful prosperity, and in prayer. Sat